Aloha everybody, this is Mike Wong from Mike's Paddle. Uh, recently I went to uh, Hano Hano, uh, hosted by the Alrigo Club there, uh, to a really great race in January, which is uh, usually doesn't happen anywhere except maybe in Florida, but in SoCal the weather was nice enough uh, to host something like this. And it was amazing to have uh, 700 paddlers about uh, 165 um, stand-up paddlers and the rest of them are all OCs and outrigger. It was a great area to see so many paddlers together and so many vendors at the same time. It kind of reminded me how it felt in the old days with um, Battle of the Paddle and also uh, Carolina's Cup. Um, you know, really kudos for Hanahano Outrigger Canoe Club for putting up such a great event with all the vendors and supporting a short course as well as long course, um, you know, for all of us to enjoy the water together. It really felt um, awesome to have a uh, an event that is, you know, post pandemic. Everyone was there. It seemed like we were the big Ohana family back up together again. Um, a lot of great SoCal brands were uh, represented there. But as you can see, um, there are tons of OCs and surf skis going out at the start. It was an amazing view to see so many boats coming out at the same time. Uh, two minutes later, the stand-up um, start was going and we had paddlers from all over the world including uh, Canada, Mexico, uh, Europe, um, as well as many local uh, pro and amateur um, stand-up paddlers. Um, you know, SoCal, as you know, is a very uh, highly competitive area with many brands um, having local presence there, including uh, Starboard, Infinity, 404, uh, SIC Maui, NSP, as you can see, everybody is represented in this uh, race. Um, you can see the one that's first is obviously Danny Chang uh, in the black um, and on his 404 board. We have Starboard represented, NSP. We got another 404 by Peter Gavin, who is actually not a pro paddler, but uh, doing extremely well. Um, and you can see Candace in her low uh, volume whiplash in purple. Um, I want to take you to see this crux move here around the left and it's a sort of a infamous left turn here with a lot of uh, boats coming in with a lot of chop. Uh, people often complain about you know <laughs> uh, folks getting stuck there you know hitting rocks you know hitting each other. Uh, you can see the pro paddlers coming through uh, just cutting a little bit of corner inside of all the sea kayaks and surf skis. Uh, most of the men are in draft line together with Candace drafting behind the men at the moment. Uh, and then we have some more uh, pro and amateur paddlers coming through. Um, obviously you can see Infinity is M404 are really well represented here because they are the local brands. Um, but we see a number of uh, uh, SIC and Starboard that's coming through. Uh, this one coming through with an all-star with a woman, that's Maddie LeBlanc from Canada. Um, and um, now you see the bigger pack coming through. Um, everyone's doing super well and love to see more people coming through um, and uh, growing into such a fantastic sport. Um, we have 165 Santa Paddle birders uh, represented here. Uh, majority of them are 14 foot. Uh, there were 27 uh, 12 sixes and uh, probably 13 under 12 six. So as you can see obviously we have 14 really well represented here. The dominant um, you know length is going to be 14 in the future. Uh, a lot of manufacturers are actually stopping to um, uh, make race boards um, that are 12 sixes. Mostly 12 sixes are starting to going towards to be touring boards or fitness oriented. Um, you know, obviously, the longer the board, the faster 
um, unless you are a small paddler, maybe um, the mass will make a difference. Um, this year, because the race was so well organized, um, I don't see anybody really having a real trouble around this uh, left turn here, uh, which is amazing. We have so many people, um, you know, coming through here at the same time. Um, it's lovely to see so many folks, local and international. Um, people are coming from Arizona, NorCal, Oregon, um, Canada, Mexico, and just amazing to see. And uh, we had a lovely time there, um, a lots of great vendor too, lots of great food. We hope to see you soon next year. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge all the folks in the background helping this make happen. First is that I am part of USA SUP, a national governing body for SUP racing. Look for us for a national championship in November in Long Beach. Uh, West Coast Paddle Sports in San Diego has tons of gear. A uh, great supporter of the paddle sports, um, as well as my own business, Mike's Paddle in San Francisco. Uh, always look for us online for some great deals, as well as Riverbound Sports in Arizona, and they have some great deals as well. And great support of the sports and locally do races and stuff. Uh, Starboard, as you always know, always innovating. Have great boards. The All Star, the Sprint, always great boards. Infinity Paddle Sports, uh, which is in Dana Point, um, always innovating. Dave Bainey is awesome. Uh, 404, as I've already mentioned, um, Danny Chang is the lead innovator for that company. Uh, NSP from Australia and SurfTech. Um, they've been around for a long time and they're still doing great stuff. Uh, Jimmy Terrell with Crick Blaze, which is locally in SoCal, always innovating. He's coming out with a brand new powder called the Sing Ray and look for that. Last but not least, look for a Black Project. They have excellent paddles. Uh, they're from Maui. Chris Freeman is always innovating with the Hydro Flow X and three different versions. And they're doing great. Uh, and get one of their paddles.